Hey everybody, it's Beth. Welcome to Infinite Garden. Three years ago, I made the decision to ditch the dye and so much has changed in my life since I did. My life has changed in ways that aren't entirely related to my hair, but that are, I would say, energetically aligned. My hair itself has changed and my attitude about myself and about life in general has also changed in those same three years. My life is different in a lot of ways now. In preparation for this video, I was looking back at pictures from January 2020, which is when I made the decision to stop dyeing my hair. It was interesting to see pictures of myself at the end of my root touch-up era. I was delighting in some photos of me singing karaoke with friends in a suburban Miami strip mall until 3 a.m. in January. I also noticed how bad my hair looked, frankly. The demarcation line between my natural silver hair and the dyed hair was glaringly obvious and my dyed hair looked dull and damaged. This was the time when I had decided to move on from dyeing my hair and I can see the me that is now struggling to emerge. Since January 2020, all of us have been through it. Life got very serious very quickly and the gravity of my decision to stop dyeing my hair took a back seat to some of the more pressing concerns of the day that I didn't see coming when I'd made that decision. In the last three years, in late 2020, I started this YouTube channel, which has been enormously fun and exciting for me. I really needed the creative outlet, but more than that, I have loved the community that I have found here with all of you. I think we have one of the best communities here on YouTube, and I am so grateful that you have come to my channel, subscribed, watched my videos, left thoughtful comments, and just generally have kept the environment here really positive and loving. It's been an incredible thing, especially during the difficult last three years, finding that community has had an enormous positive impact on me personally. In September, 2021, we adopted Chewy. She was four years old when she came to live with us. And when I learned of her and that she needed rehoming, I almost passed out. When I was a kid, I grew up with Lhasa Apsos and Shih Tzus. And this is my favorite type of dog, these small hypoallergenic dogs that thrive in cooler climates. They're absolutely my dream dogs. And Chewy has basically been an angel in my life since then. When she came to live with us, there was a trending term at the time that was being reported on in the New York Times, etc., called languishing. It was meant to describe the opposite of thriving, how you feel when your life is not improving, the quality of life is slipping, and that you're doing less and less than ever. Both my husband and I related to that term when we heard about it. Once Chewy came into our lives, it seemed as though the languishing ended. Her little sunny disposition and funny doggy little ways and affectionate stubborn spirit have made our day-to-day -day lives so much brighter and so much happier and I couldn't be more grateful for having this gorgeous divine being in my life and in my home. Love you, Choo Choo. But back to the hair itself. In three years, I completed my gray hair transition. At 22 months, I cut off the remaining dye that I had, but the cut was really short and shorter than I'm comfortable with. It wasn't until about the two and a half year mark, almost to the three year mark, mm -hmm. that my hair was long enough to the point where I actually really liked how it looked. So growing out your hair does take a really long time, but in those three years, my scalp and hair have healed. Dye is damaging in ways that can be readily observed and in other ways that I think we're learning about more and more. More and more studies are coming out about the physical harm that comes from chemical processes. There's been quite a lot written about hair straightening agents and the really serious harm caused to people who use those chemicals. And I think we're going to hear more and more about the consequences of the hair dyeing process. That's just a prediction that I have. I'm going to continue to be on the lookout for those kinds of reports. 
editing me. This is a pure coincidence, but an hour after I filmed this video, I went for a walk around my neighborhood and found this billboard. I don't really know what's going on. I have zero connection to any of this, but I thought it was a strange coincidence. My anecdotal experience is that my strands are much healthier. My scalp is healthier. I talked about in my last video that when I was dyeing my hair, sometimes my my scalp would become irritated and sore, even sometimes getting scabs because of the chemical burns from the dye. All of that is done now, and the health of my scalp is better than I can ever remember it being. This has led to me having more hair on my head. So in addition to the strands being healthier, I have way more hairs, actual hairs growing out of my scalp. This is something that I've talked a lot about on my channel, but I was surprised during my transition how much additional hair growth occurred once I ditched the dye. I hope it's something that happens for you as well. I wanted to zoom out a little bit so you could see Juju. -ju. The most notable change in my life in the last three years, however, is my attitude both toward myself and to life in general and the wider world. For years, I felt terrorized by my gray hair. If you've watched my channel, you've heard that I went gray very young and I started dyeing my hair regularly in my mid-20s. Finally accepting my gray hair and in turn accepting myself was a profound paradigm shift. It is so much deeper than hair. I began to see myself more clearly, both my you know superficial meat suit as well as the divine spirit that I believe is within me and within all beings and everything that we can see and touch. I began to understand that I am special and the same is true for you. Once I felt that profound acceptance growing within me, I found that I wanted to explore my physical appearance more than ever. I began branching out in terms of the makeup that I was enjoying and in terms of style. I realized that sparkly eyeshadow is harmonious with my luminous and sparkly silver hair, and I granted myself license to wear glitter which has brought me tremendous joy on a day-to-day -day basis. I also recognized that silver hair communicates maturity, which for me meant that I wanted to explore my clothes differently and explore my style message differently, in some ways trying to play with that idea of maturity. This is an exploration that is still currently underway, and I hope to continue to make videos about that here on my channel. I hope you're enjoying that content. I have really enjoyed both the exploration and the creativity of creating content for this channel about style exploration, both with makeup and clothing. If you're here for that, I hope you stay tuned as I continue to put out videos like that through the year 2023. Further about the attitude component of this, sometimes people say things that you don't want to hear. I was recently in Miami and I was having coffee with a friend who lives there. She's five years younger than me and we were sitting outside in a public area and a drunken woman approached our table. My back was to her, so she came up from behind to address my friend who is a beautiful and very youthful late 30s woman. And this woman said, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt your lunch with your parents, but da 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 da. I was appalled for a variety of reasons, but I kept my mouth shut for a while and I let her, you know, kind of do her thing. She sort of clung to our table for a while and hung around and was asking us a lot of personal questions. It turns out that she has a Michigan connection and I live in Michigan, so she wanted to explore that further, etc., etc. And then she said something to my friend about how, well, you must be from Michigan too since this is your mom. And I looked at her and I said, I am 44. I am not her mother. I am her friend. And the woman looked stunned and said, she said, well, we're all beautiful people and fled the scene. I mean, I didn't love that interaction, but also when I was down in Miami, two young men in their 20s and 30s-ish, I can't really tell, called out to me to say how much they loved my hair. So, you know, that was lovely too. The point I'm trying to make is that these things happen, but the comments are coming to me about something that is authentic about me. This is my hair color. It is what it is. 
You can't control what kind of comments that you're going to get and unfortunately it's all on the table. But they're comments about the truth of things and I personally have never felt freer or happier, ever. I am so grateful to be here and I am so grateful that you are here with me. I can't thank you enough for being a part of this community. Please stay tuned next week if you want to hear my thorough review of L'Oreal's Metal Detox Shampoo. I will have that for you next week. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well out there and I hope you have a great week ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Talk soon. Isn't she a miracle? I love you, Choo Choo. Beautiful girl. Beautiful.